Welcome to the Daily Mass from St. Mary's Parish in Barrie, Ontario for Thursday, April the 29th, Thursday in the fourth week of Easter, also the Feast of St. Catherine of Siena. gentleness with constant love our hearts possess alleluia alleluia to you our lips will ever raise the tribute of our grateful praise alleluia 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 Alleluia. Today we remember the soul of Heather Cronin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. We come together to celebrate the Eucharist, to join our prayers together to remember the love and the mercy that our God extends to each of us as we celebrate the feast of St. Catherine of Siena. Lord Jesus, you are the glory of all the angels and saints. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you nourish us in word and sacrament. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and the life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who set Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love, in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church. Grant through her intercession that your people, participating in the mystery of Christ, may ever exalt in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and his companions set sail from Paphos and came to Perga in Pamphylia. John, however, left them and returned to Jerusalem. But they went on from Perga and came to Antioch in Pisidia. And on the Sabbath day, they went into the synagogue and sat down. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the officials of the synagogue sent them a message saying, Brothers, 
if you have any word of exhortation for the people, give it. So Paul stood up and with a gesture began to speak. You Israelites and others who fear God, listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose our ancestors and made the people great during their stay in the land of Egypt. And with uplifted arm, he led them out of it. For about 40 years, he put up with them in the wilderness. After he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance for about 450 years. After that, he gave them judges until the time of the prophet Samuel. Then they asked for a king, and God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, who reigned for 40 years. When he had removed him, God made David their king. In his testimony about David, God said, I have found David, son of Jesse, to be a man after my heart who will carry out all my wishes. <clears throat> of this man's posterity, God has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus, as he promised. Before his coming, John had already proclaimed a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his work, he said, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. No, but one is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of the sandals on his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord, forever. With my mouth, I will proclaim your faithfulness to all generations. I declare that your steadfast love is established forever. Your faithfulness is as firm as the heavens. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found my servant David. With my holy oil, I have anointed him. My hand shall always remain with him. My arm also shall strengthen him. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and steadfast love shall be with him. And in my name, his name shall be exalted. He shall cry to me, you are my father my God and the rock of my salvation. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, O Lord. Lord. After Jesus had washed the feet of the disciples, he returned to the table and said to them, Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, 
nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I'm not speaking of all of you, but I know whom I have chosen. But it is to fulfill the scripture, the one who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. I tell you this now before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe that I am he. Very truly I tell you, whoever receives one whom I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus speaks about humility in the gospel after performing that very humble act of washing the feet of his disciples at the Last Supper. He, he speaks about the humility needed to be a disciple of his. St. Catherine of Siena once heard the Lord say to her, I am and you are not. All that we have received is a gift from God. The breath that we took ten seconds ago, the breath that we're taking right now, the breath that we will take in a minute, all is a gift from God. And our gifts and our talents, all those things that we recognize that we receive from God, we have a responsibility to cultivate, to nurture, to nourish, to develop as good stewards and return them back to the Lord with increase. St. Thomas Aquinas spoke of uh, humility as being truth. The deepest truth is that God is God and we are not. Yet so often we place ourselves in that position of playing God, being God, revering ourselves as God. Whether it's things, status, fashion, possessions, eventually we come to revere those things as most important and not the Lord. So we come here to the table of the Word and the table of the sacrament, the table of the Lord, so that we remember that God is the Master and we are His servants. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this bread to offer, which earth has given, human hands have made, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be be God God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for it is through your goodness that we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed be be God God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
might be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that, instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, <clears throat> universe cast down, is renewed, and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the heavens. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed <clears throat> holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles, the Martyrs, St. Catherine of Siena, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Share with one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the risen Lord who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the banquet of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. O Lord of all, with us abide in this our joyful Easter tide. Alleluia. Alleluia, from every weapon death can wield, your own redeemed forever shield. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia.